Silverstone, October the 29th. Ross Kaiser tests the Daytona prototype. I'm going to be running uh, the car you can see behind me on this Friday just to get some more seat time in the car and really get acclimatised to the car, which is going to be great for me because I'm going to get to drive a DP car at a circuit I know. We're going to the Silverstone GP circuit, which I know very well. So really, is at, at VIR, I was having to learn the circuit and the car and the team, so it was quite a lot to take in initially. So the great thing about this test is I can really just practice a few things on the car, have a play with the braking, maybe try, try some setup changes on the car just so I can understand how the car adapts in relation to the car I'm used to driving because it's going to be quite a bit different to the Radical. But first, Ross must make a visit to the United Autosports factory in Leeds for a seat fitting. The main focus of today was just getting myself comfortable within the car because uh, the DP car carries a lot of speed through the fast corners and there's quite a lot of G-load on the car so it's, it's very important to be stable in the car and to be very comfortable. So the main objective today was to make myself a seat insert using uh, two-part foam which is an expanding foam. You mix it together, pour it into a bag and then it actually fills up and, and moulds around your body. We use basically a bin bag in the seat which is put behind the driver. Definitely has to wear his overalls, because if he's got his usual clothes on, anything could happen. He could have his belt off to one side, and he needs to be comfortable in that situation. But it is quite important for the 24-hour race that he's comfortable with it, that he's not sat to one side, he's not too far forward, not too far back. Because there'll be three, four drivers in the car, it's important that each one of them is happy as well. So. in a bit. You have to sit there for a, for a good half an hour until it's set and then uh, the mechanics did a great job of, of cutting and shaping the seat. Test day at Silverstone. Seat insert fitted, Ross is ready to go. Very happy, uh, great for me today to get a bit more time in the car, certainly on a circuit I know being at Silverstone. Just scraped round the left, straightened up before the tight left, and then the wheel just overtook me and went flying into the barrier. <laughs> it was all about getting to grips with the DP car with the help of Crack Squad United Autosports. The cars have got adjustable roll bars from inside the cockpit, which I've never experienced before. So obviously today was a great time for me to stiffen the rear roll bar up, see if it did what, what I expected it to do, which it did. So it was just great to see how much they changed the car and how the car's going to react. Obviously if the tyres are going off during the stint, you may be able to, to dial some of the, uh, the oversteer or understeer out, depending on what it may be. And oh, get nice and warm in there. <laughs> it's not really warm on the quick water. No. Next test is uh, Homestead in Miami at the beginning of December, so uh, really looking forward to that. It's meant to be uh, a good circuit and it'll be my first experience other than when I've driven at the UK Rocket and driving a DP car on some, uh, on some banking and incorporating the infield section. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the United Kingdom, not via the tube, he had to take a bus. December the 1st, Ross tests at the Homestead Miami Speedway with 20 degree banking and 1.2 miles of oval. Ross was reacquainted with Team Duran Racing. We've got five guys in the car this uh, yesterday and uh, so he hasn't got a lot of time in the car, but uh, by the end of today, I'm sure he'll be right on pace, uh, as we saw at VIR. With the impressive test at VIR, Kevin Duran has announced Ross will join the lineup in their bid for the Daytona 24 Crown. Fantastic news.
Next, Ross goes to Daytona for the January Raw test on the track that's been newly repaved for only the second time in its long history.